Hello everybody, Jason95 here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we had killed the Ancient Dragon, King Vendrick, and Lindia, whatever her name is. I believe she's dead now. Actually, what happens when you kill her through the invasion? Is she dead? She is dead, isn't she? Yeah, because her body no longer existed there. There isn't any loot down, is there? I'm wasting my time now, but... Yeah, we killed her. We also killed Vendrick and the Ancient Dragon. Obviously, Ancient Dragon first, then Vendrick, because that would be a pretty silly order to do it in. Kill, like, extra defense Vendrick and then kill Ancient Dragon. Seems like a stupid idea, but we've done that now. I'm going to be moving on to the last fog door, or last King's Gate door in Drankleet Castle. The one at the King's Gate. So, let's head on to there. We got a good set of miracles. That'll be fine. So, let's go to this King's Gate. Uh, King's Gate, there we are. The first bonfire, the first bonfire in Castle Drangleic. And some summon signs. Even though we've already done the boss. Okay, then. Summon two bros. Hopefully they'll both summon. Orcus. Bismuth. Armalator, Farumim, Twilight Raven, why not? Okay. Bismuth. God damn it, why is no one getting summoned? Why can I summon no one? Weird. Okay, let's produce the symbol of the king. Say hello to Renkin. I have a habit of doing this now. I love using the voice communication system in Dark Souls 2. Uh, let's put the clan free ring back on. Hello. Let's go through here. And go through this area. Ooh, what are you doing here, Pie Keeper? You're taking your hood off. Okay then. Shanalot. The Chandra. That he will take the throne and drink the fire. She covets the first flame. Put the Chandra to death. We've got to kill Nassandra. Nassandra. Okay then. Let's kill Nassandra. The throne of Want. Or Vant. W's always pronounced as these, aren't they? Or is that a German thing? I don't know. Come on, this is such a long run. I know there's a fog door over there, so. Is this Nassandra? The Emerald Heralds, or oh, I forgot her name already. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to her name. The Emerald Herald apparently has a name. She apparently is half dragon or something like that. The dragon's created her or something. It was like Samalite or something. I know it's very similar to Camelite. Okay, let's see this. Chant my weapon. And kill these bosses. What are these bosses? Throne Defender and Throne Watcher. Two dudes. It's Ornstein and Smo. Except it's not. And they apparently walk very slowly. They're not very hard to kill, apparently. Oh, you do flips and shit. It isn't very hard. Oh crap. 
Just kill him. Oh, one level. He's enchanted this weapon. Okay. Ow. He's enchanted this weapon too. That's one down. Just one to go. Ow. He has a fucking AOE attack. Die. Your friend is dead. And they're both dead. I know. Defender took a while to die. Throne Defender and Throne Watcher Soul. Very good. Oh, what? So, Throne Watcher and Throne Defender are undead. Oh my. Hello, handsome. It's Gravelord Nito's wife. Basically, is isn't it? Gravelord Nito's wife. What are you doing in this game? That's a bony scythe you have there. I love the feeling of bony scythes on my bony fingers. It's a dark boss. Sure, I'll be one with the dark. Oh, hi guys. You're going to help me with this boss too. Sweet. What's she doing? It's a dark hand she has there. Ah, curse. No, don't cast curse. Oh shit, these things inflict curse. Balls. I got cursed, but whatever. We shall recover. Oh, she has a curse aura, didn't she? Alright, let's get the sunlight blade, sunlight spears out. It's a spammer of lightning spears, because apparently she likes to curse me. She has an aura of death. Get speared. Ow. That was painful, but I, I did survive and didn't get cursed again. How much times have we been cursed so far? Oh, she didn't shoot her laser this time. She didn't fire her laser. And she's dead. That was easy? What the fuck was that? I mean, thank you guys, that was piss. She wasn't attacking me at all. She had the laser attack, but she attacked so slow. And besides the curses, what's the big deal? Oh, there we are. What now? Have we beaten the game? Was that the final boss? Don't tell me that was the final boss. Like, I heard she was easy, but I didn't think she'd be that easy. Stone giants be strolling. You guys alive again? Is that a good thing? Oh, you're making a bridge for me. That's pretty handy of you. You who link the fire. You who bear the curse. Oh, could I have left the fog wall and went for the evil guy ending? Souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace. Oh, okay. Do I get to pick? Them shadow effects. It's nice they put a lot of effort into the shadows, even in the cutscenes. It's a big rock. It's a throne, I guess. A sandy throne. Am I the king? Hell yeah. Look at me, I'm a badass. Is that it? I just I get to sit at this chair 
and live inside a throne and do absolutely nothing? What? How am I commanding Drangliak if I'm just going to be sitting inside this thing? I'm the boss though, and I? All praise before Jason and Anna 5. And that is the end of the game. Dark Souls 2. Surprisingly not too difficult to be honest. I, I had plenty of deaths, don't get me wrong. I had loads and loads of deaths. But compared to my first time I played Dark Souls 1, it felt a lot easier. It felt like the game held your hand a lot more, especially, especially with that Ring of Life protection, I mean. It kind of holds your hand in that respect. Oh, you died. How would you like to not die, instead pay 3,000 souls? I think we all know which one would take. It feels a bit cheap to use that ring, but let's not just talk about the ring. The gameplay in general... Yeah, it wasn't really, really hard. What am I talking about? It, it wasn't hard at all. I mean, it was difficult at some points, but I never really felt like I was being overwhelmed. A couple of points I did, but I know it's the game's a lot easier with phantom help, especially due to the fact that phantoms can heal themselves now. Originally, we thought before Dark Souls 2 came out that phantoms wouldn't be around forever, but it turned out that's what the small white sign soapstone did. A actual phantom can just carry you through the area, just like any phantom could in Dark Souls. However, that phantom did have to rely off using your Estus or popping humanities. In this, they had their own Estus. They could do what they want. They could just run ahead of you, kill all the enemies for you, point at the boss, go like, "Here's the boss, kill it." And then they run in and kill the boss for you. I mean, I didn't just rely off my phantoms as a crutch. I did also fight alongside my phantoms. However, I feel like without them, I would have had to had, had to had a few more attempts at some of the bosses. Because I'm fighting for the first time, I didn't get their attack patterns down. But when you have two phantoms to take the hits from the bosses and see their attacks, you kind of catch on. But yeah... I certainly like the visuals of this game. I feel like it's been much more improved from the first game. The lighting effects really cool, like when you were in some rooms and you lit that bonfire, you just felt so comfortable as the light effects just lit up the room and it looked really cool and surreal. It felt much more smooth. It felt much more refined and better graphics in Dark Souls 1 if you don't take into account the graphics fix mod, like they actually put effort into the PC version and then we didn't have to wait an extra month or two. But it was worth it in the end, the graphics look good on the PC, yeah, they look really refined. And them robe physics, everyone loves them robe physics, you got to pick an armour piece with a robe on the back like a cape, not a robe, a cape. I can wear robes too, but I like the capes on the back of some armours, like the Arch Drake armour. Just because you got that fun little cosmetic effect where it flips around. But yeah, I really like the visuals of the game. I like the gameplay. I d don't get me wrong, I like the game. It has great visuals. The gameplay is also fun. You know, I really enjoyed the gameplay. It just feels a bit more simplified compared to Dark Souls. I mean, you know, it it, it, tell, it gives you a direction straight off the bat. It's like, kill these four bosses. That's your objective. And then you can't really go to much places from there. You know, you're kind of on a set track. You're kind of guided through the game. Like, at some points, it's like, oh, you need the King's Ring to get through this door. Okay, now I'll get the King's Ring. It just feels like it doesn't have that as much... Hmm. doesn't have as much... Oh, what's the word for it? Exploration factor, you know. In Dark Souls, if you went into the Skeleton Yard straight from the start, you're an idiot. And I was an idiot. 
I think a lot of people were idiots to go into that skeleton yard. But that was part of the charm of the game. It was prepare to die. You shouldn't have gone there yet, you fool. This is the way you're supposed to go. Oh look, you just got burned by a dragon. I mean, in a way, it's kind of a dick move because you're like, you never know that dragon's going to come for the first time. You have to pay attention to the hint. Like, oh, that ground is charred. But again, that was something that added some charm factor to the game. You could actually catch on to many of the traps in the game. However, there was a couple of things. For example, finding your first mimic was never a fun thing. I mean, you can't tell, oh, that's going to be a mimic. I've opened chests throughout the game. There's only a little bit of a visual effect to it. And you can't really catch on to that, but... Besides that, it did have its cues to tell you, oh, that's a trap. In Iron Keep... Was it called Iron Keep? No, this is Dark Souls 2. That's Iron Keep and Dark Souls 2. Sen's Fortress, whilst very annoying, seemed like a more fun level than Iron Keep. Iron Keep had its fair share of... I wouldn't say traps, but it's environmental deaths. Yeah, you could fall into the lava on that big platform bit. But Sense Fortress, it had rolling boulders, it had swinging axe bridges. They were scary as hell to go through, and you kind of felt cheated when you died to them. But yeah, it spiced up the gameplay a lot, and, you know, just made it feel better. I feel like Iron Keep was the equivalent of Sen's Fortress in Dark Souls 2. You know, Drangleic Castle might be the thing that's supposed to be that. Because you ring the two bells of awakening, or you obtain the four giant souls. Similar in a way. But yeah. Looks like the credits are almost over. I'm going to wrap up. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed this game. Great visuals, great gameplay. I just feel like it's maybe a little bit too easy, like they've toned it down a lot. Oh, achievement unlocked. The yeah. air. And I've come back to the bonfire. I'm not on New Game Plus. That's how you go to New Game Plus, apparently. Begin Journey 2 to Drangleic. So you have a choice of when to actually go to New Game Plus, which is pretty awesome. Bearer of the... Until... What do you have to say now I've killed the, Over the thing? Over the past the forest is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it, those who come to Drangleic seeking salvation soon lose hope. It happens to them all. That blue knight at the base of the tower. Although he does offer sound, it perhaps he is a foreshadowing of... Okay, then. So, yes. We have completed the game. I know there's probably some stuff I missed, some loot I've missed. Maybe some NPCs to talk to, such as the Royal Saucer Guy and Cartographer. But I haven't figured out how to talk to them yet, and I've cleared the main game. There's plenty of other videos you can look at or look at the wiki to get this information. This Let's Play wasn't entire, wasn't designed to be a walkthrough. It is designed to be my first playthrough of the game, experiencing all the game for the first time. And that's what I brung you. So that would be the end of this series. I am not entirely sure whether I'm going to be going through the DLC on this character yet. As there's only one DLC out at the moment. And I may be saving it. Maybe saving the DLC for when they all come out and I can play for them all on a new character because I feel like this character is awesome and all. He's got lightning spears. That was a parry. I accidentally did that by accident or a guard break. I meant to throw a lightning spear for a cool effect. Yeah. This character is awesome and all. He's a nice faith build. However, I want to I want to do another character to record with to go through the DLC. Maybe even do it on New Game Plus or something, just to spice it up a bit. I've heard New Game Plus isn't just harder enemies, it's actually more enemies and interesting new things like additional enemies of bosses. So it's actually worth playing through New Game Plus, which I didn't really feel like it was worth in the other Souls games. I just thought, oh, the game's hard, the big work, I'd rather play another character and diversify my builds a bit. But yes, enough of that. This will be the end of this Let's Play. I'm probably going to be playing through all the DLCs. I have a plan for the future to play through this game again. It won't be in the near future. It'll be after all the DLCs have come out. And I have got to New Game Plus with a character that I want to do a playthrough with. It's going to be a very interesting character. 
It's not going to be like a normal build like this character, just characters, you know, oh, I'm casting faith spells. It's going to be something funky like dual daggers or I was thinking of an Indiana Jones style character with a whip and a crossbow as his gun. And all interesting things like that, like a cosplay character or a just a funky, interesting build that not many people would go with. It'll be impractical, but that'll help add to the difficulty of the game, going through New Game Plus on a character that's a bit funky and a bit different from normal characters. But that'll be it for this Let's Play. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, it helps me out a lot. If you've just stumbled upon this video by accident, you can watch the series at the end of this video. There'll be a link to it. You click on the Watch the Playlist Here button. You can watch the entire series and watch all my deaths and fails and all that and have a good time. And don't forget, you can subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. See you all next time.